everyone. Welcome to the L. Tom Perry Special Collections, housed in the Harold B. Lee Library on the campus of Brigham Young University in Provo, Utah. This special collection was started in the mid-1950s and has grown from there. Here's the first four entrance as you walk down the stairs from the ground level entrance to the main library. On the right is an announcement of the current rotating exhibit. The pictures in this training were all cleared and approved for use by Gordon Danes, Supervisor of Reference Services in the L. Tom Perry Special Collections. Going through the first set of double doors, we see a gallery to the right. The ga this gallery is home to rotating exhibits. The current exhibit is Rosemarie Reed. From the mid-1930s to the mid-1960s, Rosemarie Reed's name was synonymous with beautiful, functional, and innovative swimwear. She created swimsuits that every woman could feel beautiful wearing and also remain modest. Her company was incredibly successful. Her swimsuits were seen in the Gidget movies of the 1960s, and they contributed to the fun sun and surf vibe that was Southern California. Unfortunately for the viewers out there, this exhibit just barely closed, but if you want to know more about Rosemary Reed, Google will be your best friend. Directly across from the Level 1 gallery is another space for a small exhibit. The current exhibit is titled Arthur Rackham, His Art and Imagination. Arthur Rackham's work graced work grace the pages of late Victorian and Edwardian literature, including The Wind in the Willows. This exhibit is on display through July 2016. If you are local, please check it out. If not, again, Google becomes your best friend. Turning back to the right, we go through another set of double doors to find a friendly student at the desk. He or she can direct you as needed. To the right of the desk is the Joseph Smith Senior Family Room. This is a beautiful room with memorabilia related to the Smith family. Many of the items were donated by Elder G. Smith, who is a great, great, great grandson of Joseph Smith Sr. Here is another look of the other side of the Joseph Smith Sr. family room. This is the Finding Aid Room. This room is directly opposite the Joseph Smith Senior Room and is left of the Information Desk. This is the Finding Aid Room. It has bibliographies and other finding aids and databases to help you in your research. It is quiet and aesthetically pleasing with small exhibits around the room mixing in with the reference shelves. This is the Reading Room where patrons check in at a special desk. They receive their re reference materials and go through a locked door. This is where you may study original materials pertaining to your research. Now that we've taken a brief tour, what can we find in the Eltime Perry Special Collections? This Special Collections Library contains the most rare and valuable items that are available in the Harold B. Lee Library. You know, things like rare books, early LDS scriptures, Victorian literature, early LDS church writings, and things like that. So let's dig a little deeper. There are seven broad collecting areas. Mormonism, Utah and the West, literature, world history and culture, photographs, arts and communications, music, and BYU history. Within these areas are smaller collections, such as print and manuscript, manuscript collections. Here are some examples. In the Manuscript Archives collection, there are letters, diaries, scrapbooks, personal papers, corporate annual reports, photos, and manuscripts, but these are not book manuscripts. In the Arts and Communications collection, we have works by Cecil B. DeMille, we know from the Ten Commandments, Howard Hawks, who was the director on Gentlemen Prefer Blondes and other movies, Max Steiner, who wrote the score to Gone with the Wind, Jimmy Stewart donated his personal papers and movie memorabilia, 
and films related to the LDS Church, such as Man's Search for Happiness. There's a folk folklore archive that has Mormon literature, I mean Mormon folklore, and a million pictures from George Anderson, who was a documentary photographer in the early 20th century in Utah. There's the BYU University Archives, which has information about the university from 1875 to the present. The information from 1970 to the present is restricted at this point. There are old yearbooks, old course catalogs, and miscellaneous information related to BYU. BYU. There is also a music archive. The music archive is part of the El Tom Perry Special Collections, but it is housed on the fourth floor of the Harold B. Lee Library. There is also the Americana Collection. This is the collection that seems to cause the most confusion for patrons. This collection holds a record copy of a work. This copy is non-circulating and must be used in the reading room. There is also a circulating copy of the book, of the work, which is usually a book, in the library that can be checked out. So how can the, the L. Tom Perry Special Collections help in family history? As you can probably guess from these collections, patrons with ancestors in Utah and the American West may have a decent probability of success. The same holds true if your ancestors are Mormon or were Mormon at some time in the 19th to 21st centuries. You'll have to do some digging, but you may find something. Remember that everything you ever wanted to know about your ancestors is rarely at your fingertips. But family history is a work of the heart. Here are the three online sources that may prove very valuable in finding information on your Utah and American West ancestors and or Mormon ancestors. There's a, there are journals, manuscripts that you can use the Finding Aid database to help you find those. There's a digital photo collection of early Utah people and places. And there's a Mormon missionary journals collection, which is full text searchable. My special thanks to Ryan Lee from Special Collections for this information on this slide and the previous slide. He recently recorded a webinar for our webinar series and you can get more information about family history and the special collections if you will check that out. The days and hours of special collections is a little bit different from the regular Harold B. Lee Library. Monday through Thursday it's open at 8 a.m. and closes at 9 p.m. On Friday it opens at 8 a.m. and closes at 6 p.m. On Saturday, it is open at 10 a.m. and closes at 6 p.m., and on Sunday, it is totally closed. For those of you who may be wondering if you have something that might, help, that might be helpful in one of these collections, you will want to check out the website for their collecting policies. There are curators for each collection, and they have the final decision to accept or reject material. Their job is to create a well-rounded collection a well-rounded collection in their specialty. For more information, the website for special collections can help you out. That is sc.lib.byu.edu or just Google special collections at BYU. Special Collections also has a YouTube channel where they have various videos inclu including how to use their finding aids and, and other special materials. The webinar that I mentioned earlier by Ryan Lee is called Family History Resources and Special Collections. You can view that on the BYU Family History Library YouTube channel and also you can get to it from the link on the Family History Library homepage. I hope that this has been helpful to you. Now, everybody go check out, if you're local, go check out the Special Collections Library downstairs. Have a great day.